Hi guys. So I thought I'd come and sit down on my favorite little posse here. It's in the evening, it's about 10 to eight. So it's still light out here, which is great. <laughs> Yesterday was a scorcher day here and didn't really get much done, which is a real shame because when I come down, I really need to make things, uh, my time count. I really need to make my time count here. But, you know, it is what it is. It was warm and you only can do as much as you can do. Otherwise, you'll pass out. And, uh, yep, that'll be me. Um, but today was really nice. It's been overcast most of the day. It was a bit warm this morning. But then um, it's been threatening rain um, all day, really. Like the clouds, I don't know if you can see, but it's quite cloudy. Um, they seem to be rolling by, though, and no rain really hitting here. We really need some more rain. Um, my barrel stores um, are getting low. <sighs> but anyway... It will rain. I believe it will rain and we'll get some more water. So it's all good. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly say hello and stop and let you see me in the camera this time instead of being on the other side. However, I do want to show you um, what's been growing. It's been incredible. Like you can see a lot of the, um, oh, look at those petunias. Oh, can I reach it? There you go, purple petunias and marigolds and the lavender's growing. My chalk mint is growing beautifully. The pumpkins are growing in here, which is great. And this is wormwood. The wormwood is, oh, let me move. The wormwood is going awesome. Um, really pleased with that. And down here is corn and climbing pumpkin. So it's going really good. Um, I wanted to show you uh, the rest of the project that we've been working on mainly today because it was overcast and we was able to get it all accomplished. Well, actually not all of it, but the majority of it. So let me show you. I can't give it away just yet what is happening so you'll just have to wait and see but anyway that was just a snippet of what we did today um yeah really pleased with the efforts can't wait to show you guys the end result and what we are expecting so um i also planted um uh, australian native um a Davison plum which is really good actually let me go show you oh come on Nala let's go show you the people let's go show our friends rhubarb because it's been so dry here um yeah they're starting to turn the leaves a little bit but the, the, it's still growing really well these are all new shoots so I'm really happy with the way it's growing and um beautiful array of color in the garden um geranium lavender marigold petunias and this one is actually an australian native mulberry so i had another little mulberry in there which i actually have rehomed into another area now but here um so that is an australian native mulberry and petunia and marigold and i'm testing out this theory of the copper pipe in the ground i can't remember what it's called what le electromagnetic uh you know what I, ca I can't even explain it so i'm not even gonna bother but anyway copper in the ground apparently it does wonders something to do with the soil rebalancing um yeah something like that someone please tell me in the comments exactly what I'm doing with the copper pipe because I can't remember but I know it's good so I'm going to continue doing it um yeah my lavender is going really good anyway I'm going to flip the camera around so I can show you properly it's a bit difficult turning the phone around but anyway 
I'll show you. The most exciting thing, we now have a lockable gate, well, a, a gate that shuts. So there you go. Let's shut it. I'm very excited about that. Yay. Oh, and this is the geranium and my poor lavender. I've just given them some water so they'll, they'll bounce back. But anyway, geranium big red. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. I wish I'd got more, but anyway, I've got a couple for the moment and that's gonna look really pretty. I'm gonna plant them around here. Um, yeah, just to give a bit of prettiness to the entry to the garden. Hello, buddy. This is Oak, our new buck. Hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome, I should say. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. All right. Okay. We're heading off now to go and get our dough. All right. You'll be happy shortly. You'll be happy soon. Yes. All right. There you go. All right. Better close it up. Mr. Oakey, Mr. Oakey, come on. You enjoying that, Sarah? You enjoying that? Greg made this hay feeder and mineral, and we're just using that as grains there as well for them. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Yes. Hey, Oakey, you can come in. Yes. There. There. Now it's Oki's turn. Enjoying that mineral lick there, boy. You enjoying that? You enjoying that? That's it. Hey, Sarah. All right, well there, little, little shelter is all good. I'm happy with that. Just filled up their hay. Just made out of wood pallets, a makeshift hay. Um, they can't jump up on it, so any hay that is captured will fall down there. At the moment, this is all hay because I couldn't find straw anywhere. And um, we just, I just bought a hay, um, oat and hay bale um, to put in the back of the truck for Oki and for Sarah um, just to nibble on. And, well, if they pee, you know, they've got something for it to go on. So I don't care. This bale, I have saved some of it, but not all of it. I do need to get some straw, though. But um, I'm going to do a deep bed um, sort of way of doing things in here let their pee and poop just go into the ground and then when it gets really manky i'll take it all out and freshen it up and i've got some diatomaceous earth to pop in here as well just for the ammonia of the the pee but anyway i'll come out hey there you go boy you eat up you eat up how's it going sarah those doggies they just want to see you. They just want to come in and see you. Yes, go on. Back you go, Skylar. So here will be a shelter. Um, yeah, just a shelter in here. I will do a milking station. Their food will be in here and some bales of hay. And straw will be in here. And this is the next part on doing a, a little bit for Oki, which will be his, um, his room basically so this will be for sarah and when they have kids 
um, in there. But for the moment, just because this is their first night here. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. It's their first night. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble. First night here. Uh, first day, so we'll just leave them together. They're getting acquainted with each other anyway. Hey, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sarah. All right. Just <laughs> It's so soft. It's so soft. And you've got no teeth up the top. But I just, just in case you will hurt me, I don't want you to bite. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're cute. You're cute, Oki. You're cute. All right. They will be locked in at night. I will lock them in. Make sure they're all protected. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. Make sure they're all protected. But, yeah, got a little um, bench on there that they can go on. Just really happy with the way this has turned out. It's all good. And I've got this little bit here to jump up on, which is good, which they do often. Oh, oh charming. You're doing the pee on there. Lovely. All right, I'm going to come out now and move the car. This will definitely be bigger. It's only because we don't have enough pallets, but we're going to be extending out, making it bigger for sure. This is definitely not enough at the moment. But anyway. Welcome home, babies. Welcome home. Oh! <laughs> she does push him off. She's done nothing but keep pushing him off. Hey, Sarah, you little bully. But anyway, yeah, I'm happy. It looks good. Hi. So we've encountered an issue. She clears this 1200 centimeter pallet fencing and um, haven't been able to go to Bunnings to get some rear mesh wiring or wood. Well, not so much wood, but the wiring. So at the moment, we've had to just chain her to this pallet, which she's dragging around in this temporary um, pen. It is going to be bigger, but we had to just move quickly by putting this together. Um, going to go down here further, much further, so give them more room. So at the moment, poor girl, um, she's attached to this pallet just so it slows her down. And two, she does not clear. She clears that fence, which is 1,200 centimetres high. Yeah, not happy. She's been domesticated too well um, and doesn't want to be on her own. Needs to be with people. Well, that's what she wants. So, yeah, just a bit worried about that. And um, poor little Oki here feels a little rejected <laughs> she um she just wants to be in our pocket yeah he's just the perfect example of how you should behave but poor little okie he'll be all right okay update time we've rejigged the goat pen made it a bit bigger made it a bit larger there's a little bit of a lean-to shelter there at the moment. It's got the food in it. It will eventually be the uh, milking station and where all the food is, but it's a little small at the moment because we don't have enough pallets. Sarah keeps jumping over the pallet fence, which is absolutely amazing because she's only a miniature Nigerian dwarf, but she's clearing it. So I've had to put wire up the top We've just concreting in um, and moved the fence door, uh, the door to the pen, so we can put this mesh up the top without cutting it, because eventually we will be moving this fence down that way further. Um, Ashley's just in there putting the food in the buckets. But yeah, getting there. I had to quickly show you the echinacea look how stunning they look absolutely stunning love it with medicinal herb right there people and the fig trees are coming along really well really happy we so need water here badly 
our water tanks are depleting really fast. We have to put hay, um, these rails on the back of the hay stand because it's just wasting so much. Should have thought of it before, but anyway, we're doing it now. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. Yes, Aki. Yes. All right, back to work, buddy. Oh, okay. All right, back to work. Back to work. Well, at least the hay is not going to fall out the back and waste all down underneath. Um, but because the squares are small, we will have to juju the hay up and frou frou fluff it, however you want to call it. Um, but I have noticed that they do, do stand up on the edge there <laughs> to, to eat it up the top. And, well, they do eat it through the holes as well. But, um, oops. What are you doing, Ash? Taking the little box thing out. Oh, okay, yeah. The salt leak doesn't work in there. A lot of hay gets on it, so probably best that it comes out. Um, I'm going to put the salt. It's sitting on the shelf just up there at the moment. Hey. But it'll probably uh, create a space. No. Up off, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's already Check bitten it, mine. <laughs> Come on, Oak. Has the brush? Right Let me get the brush. I bought these brushes. They are like laundry brushes, um, all-purpose scrub brush. But he loves it. He loves it. I need to drill a hole in it and put it somewhere so he can rub himself up against oh there you go he knows what to do <laughs> oh hang on buddy hang on buddy oh my fingers got caught there so, so he's he's loving that <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I, okay buddy you're getting my fingers oh <laughs> Well, anyway, at least the hay feeder. Oh, gee, brush your brush your face, brush your face. At least the hay feeder is done. I'm actually a lot happier with that now. Um, I probably will still put grain in the bottom there and just create two spots for them to eat. One outside and one in here, just in case they get really stroppy with each other. At least they can segregate in the morning and evening eating. But, man, he's going hammer and tong here. I'm trying to keep the camera still, but it's a bit hard. Gee! But he's loving it. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to put this. Where are we going to put this, boy? Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... her little perch. Poor Oki doesn't even get a look in. <sighs> Gonna have to do this temporary fencing properly because this isn't enough for him. Hello buddy. Hello buddy. Hello Oki. This is Oki. And, and Sarah. I haven't got anything Sarah. Got apple I'll bring some apples later. Bring some apples later, darling. Bring some apples later. Oh, she's disgusted. I didn't have anything in my hands. Hey, buddy. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful boy. You're a stinky boy, but you're beautiful. So, oops. Sorry, buddy. So, we moved the barrels out because Sarah kept jumping up on the barrels. And they were just getting disgusting and yuck and they'll get ruined eventually so um, we removed them and hubby made this um, little 
shelf bench well not bench i don't know i know something for her to stand on she loves it it's longer she can actually lay down on it now as opposed to the barrels she was standing on like one one her back feet were on one barrel and then her front feet were on another barrel and she couldn't sit down so she was standing the whole time but now she can actually lay down it's really good for her she loves to stand on this so she can see all the action on the other side of the property but um yeah just had to move the barrels because she'll stand even she was standing on the higher barrels and they're just getting disgusting and yuck so but this is much better um might plans have changed again just going to move this out a little bit more and i'm going to have the milking station in here as well okay he's sucking on my clothes you right there buddy you right there buddy um and then we will make okie a pen just on the other side here and we are extending out with these um temporary construction panels it's going to be much easier better a tad disappointed with these panels they're all broken up the top i didn't know not happy at all but like this one look at this one far out the person that was selling them did not tell me that they were that bad not happy at all but anyway just gonna have to make it work somewhere maybe we might cut that one up and make a door out of that one but anyway all this wood is gonna have to be moved we're pushing this all back we've got some play equipment for them to play on um, which will come in here these two trees will be incorporated in the pen because this is not big enough at all. This was always, always, always going to be temporary, just this setup. Um, but now, do need to make it bigger. Oki and Sarah will be put on chains out in there and chain them up to a tree with enough shelter and water so they can mow down all that yummy deliciousness of shrubbery weeds and grass. You like that spot, Sarah? You like that spot? You can see, can't you? You can see. Is it much better? There you go, darlings. <laughs> yeah, she can see everything, all the action from up there. And she can lay down and I think she can still see okay. But anyway, really happy with the way this has turned out. We do have guttering on the other side of the pen to capture water. I've brought down more barrels to capture more water, which is great. Would like to capture water off of this, but because um, she goes on the pallet from time to time, you can't really have anything in here because she'll just like, um, I know it'll, when she runs past it, it just bolds everything over. But anyway, would like to get something on there. All right. See ya, Oki. See ya, Oki. We picked up our new little boy, our weather. His name's Jovi. We're just giving him a stretch of the legs at the moment. We've come up through Wombian Caves area. We've been traveling in this bushland for about an hour at least, I think. So, Greg's just checking on the trailer. I'm gonna get this little boy, um, stretch his legs a bit. Hey, JV. And we've got Nala with us. And then, Nala, don't go too far. Not too far, come on. It's the first time Nala and JV have met. Come on, Nala. Jovi's not really lead trained, so he's a bit of a stun muller at the moment. Mala. Poor thing. Mala. Come on, baby. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Mala. Just make sure. Hello. All right, let's. <laughs> he's looking out for Nala. <laughs> it's all right, darling. I'm not going to frighten you. You can see her from afar. Good girl, Nala. There you go, JV. There you go. Now, they did have dogs on the property, but I guess Nala is a different new dog. 
so he's a bit unsure, of course. That's all right. You're keeping your distance, baby, aren't you? All right, I'll get him back in and keep going. Come on, Jovi, it's time to come out and meet your family. You need to come and meet your family. Come on, you need to come forward. I can't get in there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. So we've finally got enough of this construction panel fencing that we're going to fix little Miss Sarah's red wagon. Um, so she can't jump over it. Let's hope this works. I'm hoping and praying it does because I'm running out of options. We're actually going to extend down further, much further down there, about another three panels or something like that, and then go across, open this section up wider because now we have little Mr. Jovi, who's meeting Oki. <sighs> Boys, you better get along. Miss Sarah. Come out, Miss Sarah. 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 Come on, baby. No, she's, she's staying inside there. I don't blame you. It's warm outside. It's hot. Stinkers. You got some friends, Jovi. You got some friends. You got some friends. <sighs> What do you think, Oki? What do you think, Sarah? Yes, hopefully that pallet will be removed and you can not, not jump over the fence. <sighs> am I salty, am I? Am I salty? We're opening up the pen. Greg's done a good job of putting up all the fencing. It's, it is temporary. We're securing it as best as we can for now, but opening this up so they have more to more room to play in and move around. They're going to have a wood pile to jump on. It should be moved because I just don't know with their legs. So, but we're going to have to put some of that wood around the bottom of the fencing because there is a gap because of it being construction fencing but I plan to put it in the ground. When it, um, we come back, um, that will be hammered into the ground, definitely, or at least some, and with the star pickets as well. <laughs> Goodness sake, boy. You're beautiful, though. Hey, Jovi. Sarah, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? I need to know if you're pregnant. I will have a feel in a minute. Ah, oh, friends. Oh, whoa, whoa, she's exerting her authority. You're not the boss, Sarah. You're all friends. All friends, aren't you? Aren't you, Oki? Yes. All friends. All friends. Oh, good. You're, done, you're doing your business. I'm glad. Okay. Oh, hello, boy. Hello, beautiful. Hello. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Yes, I miss you. I miss you. Uh... They have freedom. Oki saw the pallet fence dropped and he said, yep, that's freedom. I'm out. So he has broken through. Now Greg's just going to release Sarah off, which is good. And um, poor Jovi can just run around. Oh, I would have. No one. You can explore a little bit more. A little bit more.